you're not supposed to curse in front of your kid, right? You're not supposed to curse. I mean, that's probably the wrong thing to do because cursing is kind of in our in our blood. Still, we feel the need to curse, but we do a lot of replacing of uh, of words because what, what this is the thing is like if we curse, like you know, they she might pick something up, right? Like, here's an example I'll give you. I'll give you a story. And before I jump into the story, it's important that I teach you a little bit of Greek. Okay? So in Greek, we have this letter called gamma, which kind of sounds, when you pronounce it, it sounds like you're scratching sandpaper. <laughs> Three words to learn that begin with gamma. We've got gala, which means milk. We've got gata, which means cat. And we've got gamoto, which means fuck it. Anyway, it's, it's got the word fuck in there. When I was about six and we had moved from the US to Greece, of course, I had to learn how to speak more Greek. And uh, as part of that, my mom took it upon her to help me with it. So she's teaching me how to read Greek and how to speak Greek. Uh, we're practicing the letter gamma and words that begin with gamma. So my my mother at some point say, okay, give me some words that begin with gamma. And I, I start and I go, gala. And my mom goes excitedly, yay, nicely job, good job. And then I go, gata. And she, like, her excitement was, like, way over the top for that. Like, she just, it was like I saved the universe or some shit. And, and then I go, there's, like, one more. And I go, gamoto. I shit you not, the speed at which her hand left the desk and collided with my face was so fast I barely even saw it. Like, I just start bawling up, okay? I'm just crying, I'm tearing up, and it's, uh, and my mom has this really strict look on her face, and she's like, where did you hear that? And I go, <laughs> from you, mommy. But this is what, this is what my, my, what my wife and I do, right? So if we, because we don't want to end up having this kind of problem, we replace the curse words with other things. Now, we don't do the, we, we try not to do the whole spelling thing, because she she knows she knows letters like if we say instead of sex if we start saying sex she just she will say sex I'm, I'm i'm definitely sure she's going to go at the worst possible moment in nursery or at some point she's going to start reciting sex 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 and then we're going to have to have a conversation with her teachers uh, no i don't want to explain to her teachers why she knows how to spell sex at uh, 3 Three years old but we we, we do the, we do the other thing we do the other thing where we try to find something either something that matches that thing like for example i wanted to talk i desperately wanted for some reason to tell my wife about something related to porn so instead of saying the word porn i said the brown chicken and the brown cow movies brown chicken brown cow brown chikawawa perfectly innocent like you know your kid will turn around and say to somebody brown chicken and brown cow movie they're, they're probably going to think it is a movie about a brown chicken and a brown cow. That's it. Or we try to find words that kind of very similar in pronunciation. So instead of saying like I was I was I was probably saying to my to my my wife, like, oh, my God, she's being about Minibana. She's being so bitchy. Instead of saying bitchy, I would say she's being itchy. So she's still learning proper words. But <laughs> there is no way in hell anybody could ever believe that we were teaching her how to curse.